Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to take a regular music video DVD and turn it into individual MP4 tracks that you can store on your computer and use for programs like Virtual DJ or Serato. I searched all over the internet and could not find a tutorial on this. I looked at the program, I really didn't get it. Uh, the program we're talking about, of course, is Handbrake. You can download it for free at www.handbrake.fr. This is Mixmash Dance Classics Volume 13. It's a PAL DVD, but it could very well be in TSC. Doesn't matter. This is really easy to do. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to YouTube user Dead Air for turning me on to some methods in Handbrake that I wasn't familiar with. So, for what it's worth, check it out and happy ripping. I went ahead and loaded a CD into the drive and I let it read it. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Handbrake program. Over here where it says presets, you can do a lot of stuff. You can do it for iPod, iPod Touch, Apple TV, you can do stuff for Legacy. We're going normal under the regular category. Make sure that's ticked. Now, come up here to source and find the drive your DVD's in. In my case, it's drive D. I'm going to click on that. It's going to read it. It's going gray for a minute, but when it, after it reads it, it's going to pop up and there are going to be a bunch of numbers here, as you can see. Source, title, one. It's 52 minutes and 45 seconds long, the whole DVD. There are 15 tracks in it. Angle, well, there's one angle because it's not a movie with multiple angles. And chapters one through 15. That's what it's looking at right now. You can rip an entire movie if you want to. You can rip the entire music DVD as one file if you want to, but I don't want to do that. I want each file to be separate so I can tag them. So my first rip I'm going to do, or encode, is chapters one through one, basically the first track. Then you hit browse, and this is where you choose what file folder you want to be your destination folder. In my case, it's under my videos library and music test video. It's already showing up for me because I've been using this program a lot. Where it says file name, you type in your file name. Our first file is Prodigy with everybody in the place. Now between Prodigy and everybody in the place, I've done a space dash space. That'll separate your file automatically as far as artist and title in Virtual DJ. Now instead of hitting start and just ripping this file, I'm going to hit add to queue and a new window pops up. This is the queue window. Now I'm going to add more files and as I add files they're going to line up here in the queue. I can check to make sure that I've got things spelled right, all that stuff right here under destination and file name. So let's go on to the next track. Chapters 2 through 2. 2 automatically pops up when you go down like that, but check it, make sure it's what you want. Second track is Liquid with Sweet Harmony. Save, add to cue, and there it is, Liquid Sweet Harmony. Track number three, again browse, it's Milo, whoops, Milo versus VS Miami Sound Machine space dash space with Dr. Pressure. A tune that I love, but in the US, it sounds like he's saying motherfucker gonna drop the pressure, and I don't know if that's really what he's saying, but American audience would not fare very well with that. Our next track. Shapeshifters featuring Jay Brandon of Brandon Entertainment with Lola's theme. Add to cue. And you just keep going until you've got every track that you want off of the CD in the queue. You can skip tracks if you want to. The next track is uh, Olav Basoki with Waterman. Now if I didn't want that track, I kind of like that track, but if I didn't want it, I could just skip it and move on to track six, seven, whatever I wanted to move on to. And our last track is Mr. 
O I Z O with flat B. Save. Add to Q. Those are all 15 tracks. Now what I'm going to do before I press rip or start is I'm going to check everything to make sure I've got it right. Track 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know what? I didn't put track 6 in. So it's not a big deal. You can fix it. Check it out. All you have to do, chapters 6 through 6, add it. And this track is Layla K with Open, open Sesame. There's no I in Sesame, is there? No. Sorry about that. Save, add to Q. So these don't even have to be in order. All right. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and here's six. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Now I've got everything in here. I've double checked my math. I found my mistake. I added the track. So now I'm going to go ahead and press start. Now when I do this, this DOS window pops up. It's the encoding window, and it's showing me. It's reading four, five, six percent of the track. It's at the moment fifty-seven frames per second, but it goes up to over a hundred frames per second sometimes. It just depends on I don't know, maybe how big the file is or what speed my drive's running at. Each track takes probably, I'm gonna guess, a little over a minute to rip in. Some rip faster than others. Now what's gonna happen is once this track is done ripping which is our first track, Prodigy Everybody in the Place. The next track, Liquid Sweet Harmony, which we have highlighted, is going to appear on the screen. This one is going to disappear, a new one is going to pop up, and it's going to rip in our new track. Now keep in mind, this is a free program. There are probably better programs out there that you could use, but it's free. And it seems to work really well. MP4 seems like a real popular format for be it Serato or Virtual DJ. Does a really nice job of ripping them. And hey, this is how you use it. Anybody can do this. You can rip a movie in here if you wanted to. You could rip a movie as one track, chapters one through whatever the last track of the movie is, as long as it's not copy protected. No reason you couldn't. You can do stuff for your iPod, all kinds of stuff on here. We're just using it for music video today. And I did a Google search trying to find a video on how to rip music video. Couldn't find it, so I'm making my own. Figured it out myself, and here it is. All right, now watch. Track 1 is done. Track 2 disappeared from the queue and opened a brand new DOS window. Okay, we've got two more tracks to rip. This one's almost done, 97 98%. Now watch what happens. I'm going to highlight this last track, and when our current track is done ripping, our queue will be empty, a new window will pop up, it will rip in the last track, and it's all done. It closes, the black DOS window closes, the encode queue is empty, it doesn't say all done, but it is all done. So it's just kind of a cool tool. I thought I'd turn you on to it. I hope this helps somebody. <clears throat> and uh, remember, you can use this for all kinds of ripping. And it's free. So go ahead and give it a try. The quality, of, and see there, it's all gone. Q's empty, last track's getting ripped right now. The quality of these MP4s are really good. I was checking some of them out as I was waiting to turn this camera back on. I can't show you any of the videos. The last video I did on this subject actually got tagged by Warner for the CNC Music Factory tune. And now nobody can watch this video in Germany. So, they shouldn't tag me for anything here. I'm only typing artist names. I'm not playing any music. I'm not showing any images. So, hopefully we're safe here. But, if you have any questions on this, I'll try to answer them for you. All of the information right here in this particular window, all you have to do is worry about tagging normal under the regular category. Otherwise, you should be all set. I was tagging web optimized. I was going audio stereo, but it does everything automatic and does a beautiful job with it. 
So enjoy Handbrake. Enjoy your music video or whatever you're going to rip with it. And we'll see you on the next toot. We're almost done here ripping the last video. Once again, the window will disappear. Our queue is empty. And we are all done. Practice and enjoy in just a second. Ah, joy, we're all done.